everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to do a review over a film from the grand old uh, year of 1963. Um, uh, it's called Blood Feast. Uh, it's not too long of a movie, it's only an hour and seven minutes. <laughs> so, you gotta think. <laughs> Uh, they went more for the gore than they did with the time limit, so, yeah. And then again, Herschel Gordon Lewis movies aren't really all that long anyways. Uh, but this film was pretty good. It stars William Kerwin as, uh, Detective Pete Thornton. Uh, Connie Mason as Suzette, who's our main girl. Um, and... Mal Arnold as the killer. Uh, I like the killer's name. It's uh, pretty original, uh, if that makes sense. Fuad Ramses, uh, the first, because there is a second movie where it's Fuad Ramses the third, which I ordered that uh, on Amazon. Uh, got it for two bucks, and I thought, why the hell not? Uh, so, anyways. Um, I figured since I'm getting the second one, I might as well review the first one. Um, the acting, don't go into this for the acting because it's not all that great. Uh, the gore for its time was pretty good. Um, and just the overall atmosphere, it felt like you were watching an exploitation film, so that was pretty good. And I'm not really into a whole lot of exploitation films, like I'm into the horror exploitation, but that's about it, um, if that makes sense. Um, so, we start off with, um, uh, uh, I watched the movie yesterday and I finished it up today, so my memory might be a little rusty with the beginning. Um, we start off, uh with an opening like bloody letters and it's spelling out blood feast and we get uh this woman uh taking her bra off you you don't see any need to do though because she takes it off while her back is facing the camera so uh anyways she takes that off and takes a bath and she's reading a book about ancient uh civilizations or ancient egyptians something like that and then all of a sudden this crazy uh, old man comes in with, uh, I think it's the machete, and cuts the woman, I think, I think he cuts her leg off, uh, and what happens next, uh, you get to see all the gore and he's playing around with uh, the skin and everything, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so anyways... Uh, the gore in this is better than, uh, Wizard of Gore, not, not the remake, but, uh, the original, 1971, 1970s one, uh, because in that movie, you could tell that it was dummies, at least in this film, they, uh, it looked like they used real human actors to do the gore scenes, uh, I'm not going to go through every little detail in this movie review, but let's just say um, it was fun. Uh, I wouldn't mind picking it up uh, on DVD. The price is, I think, 9 bucks. So possibly next time I get a Amazon gift card, uh, I'll get that. Um, but I'm happy with what I got. Uh, I got three movies. Uh, I'll show them off uh, one at a time or uh, maybe two in one day. Uh, but the first one that's coming is a remake. Um, so anyways, uh, Foo Wild Ramsey's, I'm going to talk a little bit about the killer. Um, he seems nice. Uh, in a strange way, uh, like, when you see him, you're just like, you, know, you move back a little bit, he's kind of the guy that's 
a little too nice. And what happens next is he gets invited to take a charge of a dinner party for uh, Suzette, uh, played by Connie Mason. And what happens uh, while uh, he gets invited to do this, he's killing off uh, random girls and taking uh, different body parts to like he takes one girl's brain and here's the weird thing if he took her brain why is it that her skull is still closed like he cuts off the entire uh, flesh hair and everything but you can clearly see that the skull is uh, close. Uh, some might call that nitpicking, but I don't think so, because that's a pretty big flaw, taking out a brain, but at the same time having uh, the skull closed up. So, yeah. And it didn't even look like it was taken off, so yeah. There's a little problem there. Um, You've also got uh, a girl getting her eyes gouged out. That's a pretty cool scene. Um, I don't know what really to say about this film. Uh, and apparently, uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis is not the godfather of gore. Apparently, there's somebody else who came before him and did gore uh, before him. But... Uh, in my eyes, Herschel Gordon Lewis pretty much brought it to the mainstream. In my eyes. In my eyes, I think so. Uh, some pretty good gore movies before Herschel Gordon Lewis. Hmm. I'm trying to think now. This is going to go into a rambling review. Um, but I don't mind. Um, let's see now. Hmm. Has to be before 1963. Even though it wasn't really gory, uh, would uh, Night of the Living Dead count? Because I think that film came out in 1962, 1961. Yeah. But George A. Romero wasn't uh, the godfather of gore either, so, yeah. But apparently, uh, 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 George A. Romero was inspired by this film for Dawn of the Dead. Like, uh, you can see similar gore scenes in that. And it's been forever since I've seen Dawn of the Dead, the original one. I've seen the remake a bunch of times. The original was better, though. In my eyes. To some people, they say the remake's better, but I don't think so. The remake's good. Um, so, anyways, Thuwad Ramsey's is a crazy motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll probably have more details when I review the second one, because uh, at least I won't have to read the subtitles, because when I... I didn't have to read the subtitles for this because the movie was in English, but they had Spanish subtitles, and I was like, I, I wish I could turn them off, but uh, it was the way the video was made. So anyways, we had that, but I'm not going to knock the movie for that, uh, because the uploader uh, speaks Spanish, so I'm not going to complain. Um... What are some other good Herschel Gordon Lewis movies? 2000 Maniacs. Check that one out. I think they still have it up on YouTube. Um, Wizard of Gore. I've seen uh, half of the movie. It's pretty good. I have it on my watch later list. Um, don't go into it for balls to the wall type of gore because most of it you can tell it's a dummy. Um, Color Me Blood Red, I've never seen, but I heard good things about it. 
um, the Gore Gore Girls, uh, I've seen bits and pieces of it. Apparently it was the first X-rated horror film, which there are hardly any X-rated horror films out there. Evil Dead was considered an X-rating when it came out, I think. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Blood Feast 2. That, that was actually a good movie, but uh, if you watch it on YouTube, it's the R-rated cut, so all the gore is going to be taken out, which is pretty pointless to watch a movie called Blood Feast and there be no gore, but you do get titties in that. For some odd reason, they kept the titties in. So, yeah. Um... I will kind of spoil the ending though, so I'll keep up the middle finger for uh, uh, how long uh, the spoiler will take. So, anyways, here we go. Um, close to the end of the movie, uh, Fuad is telling uh, Suzette, lay on the counter. Uh, you uh are going to say Ishtar uh come take me away I think. Uh and so he takes a machete out while the Suzette's eyes are closed and tries chopping her, but her mom walks in and uh Fuad gets chased around by the cops and he meets his demise. I won't tell you his demise, but spoilers over. Um, and most of the movie is about uh, Fuad bowing down to a statue of Ishtar, which in the sequel, the statue looks completely different. Like, I mean really different. Like, it's not even the same statue. But, uh, I liked this statue. It it was cheap looking, but I, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't have it in my room or anything like that, but it was alright. The statue in the second one, I felt like I was literally in Egypt. <laughs> Looked like a sphinx. Um, but... On a scale of 1 to 10 hatchets, hmm. I'm going to give it about hmm. I'm going to give it about a 6. Um, the reason being, it dragged at points, and uh, I think the ending could have been way better. So, anyways, hopefully you all enjoyed my short review over Blood Feast. Uh, it goes by another title in uh, when it was released, so... Yeah, I, I forget what uh, other titles it won under. And there's another movie from 1972 called Blood Feast, but it's a completely different movie. Completely different movie. It's a Spanish movie, and uh, I don't think I'll ever watch it. The only Spanish movies I liked were uh, the Teens of the Blind Dead series. And a lot of people do like them, but, uh, I have some friends who don't like them. Um, so, yeah, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Um, so, anyways, uh, Psychopathic One, signing out. I'll be back with a review over the movies I'm gonna be getting probably next week. So, peace. Well, not next week, this week. So, peace, everybody have a good day, and 
if something comes up and I want to review something else, I'll be back uh, later on today if I find something else to review. So, peace.